SpaceX has been a very exciting company in the aerospace industry, especially with its plans to put humans on the red planet, making humans an interplanetary species. Apart from this, SpaceX is also completely focused on building reusable rockets, and this has made rocket launching more affordable than ever before. Elon Musk's next project might include revolutionizing space manufacturing. It sounds like science fiction, but the idea of moving heavy industries off Earth seems far less far-fetched than ever before. As Earth-based resources dwindle, the population increases, and something has to give. At least, that's the argument behind a new school of companies that have cropped up over the last decade or so, trying to become pioneers of space resource gathering. In-space manufacturing company Varda Space Industries has announced its launch service agreement with SpaceX. In signing the agreement, SpaceX will help Varda to launch its initial space factory aboard a SpaceX rideshare mission, deploying to low Earth orbit in Q1 of 2023. SpaceX has announced it is partnering with Varda Space to launch the first space factory. CEOs of space companies like Elon Musk have visionary ideas for the future that include the industrialization of space. Those in favor argue that industries move to space would end pollution on Earth and that the benefits that manufacturing has in a microgravity environment should be reaped. Upon completion of Varda's in-orbit production run, the space factory will execute a deorbit maneuver to re-enter the atmosphere and return finished products to customers on Earth. Varda space grew incredibly fast in a very short period. It started in December 2020 with just $9 million in seed funding. Compared to the millions used by the space sector every day, few saw how the company would accomplish its goal of building space factories for Earth-bound products. Eight months later, the company received $42 million in funding and began setting up shop and building relationships with top space companies to bring its vision to life. The Torrance, California-based startup has been moving fast since its founding by SpaceX veteran Willie Bruy and founders fund principal Delian Aprasovov a little less than a year ago. Varda announced the 42 million Series A in July and plans on following an aggressive launch schedule with two launches in 2023 and a third in 2024. Varda Space informed the public last October 11th that they will make their first space exhibition at the beginning of 2023. The confirmation was due to the conducted signing agreement between the startup space agency and SpaceX. The plan for the future mission will be aboard the Falcon 9 under its rideshare mission that will be held sometime after two years from now. The new contract between Varda Space and SpaceX has not been publicized and the details have remained private between the space contractors. Varda Space Industries will be sending its first spacecraft to orbit aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket in 2023. The actual spacecraft, the startup's first to go to orbit, will be made by SpaceX's rival launch company, Rocket Lab, which will also make two subsequent space vehicles for Varda. The three vehicles will be outfitted with two Varda-made modules, a microgravity manufacturing module and a re-entry capsule. The aim is for each spacecraft to send approximately three months into orbit. And with the re-entry module bringing back around 40 to 60 kilograms of manufactured materials, Varda's goal is to unlock the benefits of microgravity, which can only be found for sustained periods in space for manufacturing novel materials, like bioprinted organs or specialized semiconductors. The startup bets that the potential market for such materials is high enough to make the effort worth it. Varda Space Industries announced it has now partnered up with SpaceX to launch and put in orbit the first space factory by the first quarter of 2023. SpaceX will provide a rapid ride to low Earth orbit on a Falcon 9. The company will mount the first space factory on multiple photon spacecraft provided by Rocket Lab. Varda Space added that this is not just an orbiting lab, but they are building the first commercial zero-gravity industrial park at scale. Varda Space will initially connect at least three photon spacecraft. The spacecraft can be configured for different purposes. Unlike the ISS, Varda will adapt them for autonomous manufacturing in space requiring no human presence. The craft will be fitted with re-entry capsules that will return the manufacturing products to Earth once production is completed. The first factory will only be able to produce a couple hundred of kilos of material, leaving many questioning what type of products will Varda produce to stay profitable. The company explained that they will be focusing on high-value products that sell for high prices despite their low mass. Chemical purity elements, perfect crystalline structures, semiconductors, 
fiber optic cables, and pharmaceutical ingredients are some of the products that can be more efficiently manufactured in space or whose levels of purity increase dramatically in microgravity manufacturing. The spacecraft will be one of many objects aboard the Falcon 9 rideshare mission, a new and lucrative program that spreads the cost of going to space between customers by allowing them to essentially carpool to space. SpaceX promises to slash the cost of launch to as low as $1 million for an individual customer looking to send up to 200 kilograms of payload to sun-synchronous orbit. We are one step closer to delivering valuable materials to our clients here on Earth, Varda Space Industry CEO Will Bury said. Varda Space's space vessel will be hovering over the vast cosmic void in three months. The main goal of the space venture is to test the technology for space manufacturing and produce materials in a microgravity-induced environment. In space, microgravity lets materials grow without encountering walls, and it allows them to mix evenly and hold together without traditional supports, and a nearby ultra-high vacuum helps things form without impurities. Once the mission concludes, the space equipment produced in orbit will be returned back to the planet through a re-entry capsule. The experts of Varda Space have pushed the collaboration with SpaceX to materialize the mission due to the company's experience and quality in terms of space ventures. In addition, SpaceX is the best choice for a startup company like Varda Space to meet their preferred efficiency and budgeting plans. Varda Space president and co-founder Delian Astropravov said, Space News report that among the factors that drive the economics is launch cost, and with that said, the company chose the best option that comes to the lowest cost available. Brewery, the founder of Varga Space, spent almost a decade working at SpaceX on the Drago crew and the Dragon cargo spacecraft. The company assures that the products they will manufacture will improve the quality of life for people on Earth and accelerate humanity's expansion to the stars. Their free-flying space factory is a game-changer. It will be up and running not in 5 or 10 years but less than 18 months. Early days for in-space manufacturing Until now, almost all in-space manufacturing research has been conducted in the International Space Station ISS, while research from the ISS has demonstrated that it is possible to manufacture in-space innovative materials and products that can help to revolutionize industries back on Earth, there is currently no pathway to commercialization. Varda highlights that before more recently, manufacturing in orbit was impossible to scale due to cost, complexities, and regulatory hurdles. However, the combination of SpaceX's new competitively priced rideshare program, the FAA's new streamlined regulatory framework, and the Biden administration's executive order on the industrialization of space has enabled cost-effective access to orbit. Five years ago, a company like Varda would have not been possible, but today, it is possible to economically deliver unique products that can only be manufactured in space because launches are cheaper, space hardware solutions are commoditizing, and smart regulatory progress has been made. Since prolonged exposure to zero gravity is not possible on the planet, it's exciting to use our expertise in spacecraft to bring that brand new capability to industries serving large markets on Earth, said Will Brewery founder and chief executive officer of Varda Space Industries. He further added that he is excited to use SpaceX as the launch provider because the reusable launch vehicles have proven to be highly reliable and cost-efficient, providing the certainty in unit economics that we rely on to deliver unprecedented access and value to all kinds of new products that can only be manufactured in space. NASA is also dipping its ties into this very attractive pond by attempting to demonstrate 3D printing technology in space using simulated lunar soil. In the future, this can allow colonies on the Moon and Mars to produce some of their habitats and seduce the needs to take large construction materials from Earth to space. So, after its huge deal with SpaceX, would Varda Space dominate the in-space manufacturing market? Only time would tell. When do you think space manufacturing would become a space industry standard? Let us know what you think and more by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Thanks.